Hey guys! Today we're making this extremely frightening haunted house. Okay, obviously not very frightening at all. I wanted it to be kind of cute and cartoony, but I really hope you'll enjoy. Let's get started. So to make the house itself, I used scraps of wood from previous projects. You can get these thin sheets of wood at miniature or craft shops, but if you don't have this, you can also use cardstock or even palm oil clay. You want to begin by sketching out the back side of the house, which is also going to show the shape. And you can then use a craft knife to cut it out. You also want to use some sandpaper or a sanding sponge to just smooth everything out before putting the pieces together. You can then add the sides to the house. Add the floor pieces that divide the different rooms. I then closed off the little tower on the side. And I then added the roof. As I mentioned in a previous video, the Halloween tutorials of the year have already been planned and there are going to be two more after this one. Glue on a piece for the base. And you should have something like this. You then want to take some acrylic paint and paint it in any colors of your choice. Sometimes I get comments asking why I paint things after putting them together. This is just the way I prefer doing it, but if you want to paint it before assembling it, you can definitely do that as well. I kept the outside in a black, grey and white color scheme and then I added a tiny bit of purple to the outside walls. And then for the inside I used brown, purple and blue. Next we're going to make all the little details using pommel clay. I first cut out the doors from a thin sheet of grey clay. I used a pointy dotting tool to add some texture and then added a tiny ball of clay for the door knob. And after gluing them in place, I painted them using acrylic paint. For the first floor, I made a simple armchair. I didn't really add a lot of furniture, so if you want to see how to make more different types, I'd recommend checking out my dollhouse in a tin. Thank you. 
For the mirror, I first made the frame using polymer clay. Then after baking, I glued it onto a piece of tin foil, added black acrylic paint to the mirror itself, and used alcohol ink for the frame. I also made some super simple abandoned boxes, kind of as if the family who lived in the house had been rushing to move out. And instead of making windows for the house, I just added some blinds or shutters. Last piece of, I guess, furniture I made was a carpet, and for this I just used a toothbrush to add some texture. To make the extremely terrifying ghost, you want to roll out a chubby teardrop shape, pre-bake, add the arms, bake again, and then paint on a face. If you want, you can glue these onto the furniture or the walls. For one of them, I glued a head pin onto the house, then painted it using matching colors of acrylic paint, and then glued on the ghost. I also made some super scary bats, and for these, I just glued them onto some wire after baking, and then glued them onto the house. Lastly, I decided to add a full moon in the background, so for this I just used acrylic paint and a watercolor pencil on some cardstock. Seal everything with glaze or leave it as it is, and you're done.